Whoa, 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 whoa. How you doing? Saturday. Saturday? What am I doing streaming on a Saturday at 3.40 in the afternoon? Uh, I'm playing Klonoa. Duh. I mean, I, I don't know what else you want me to say. Klonoa, door to Phantom Isle? Yeah, I mean, I'm just doing it. I felt like it's a game that's been on my radar, and I wanted to play it, and now I have the means of playing it, so let's fucking do this. Let's just, let's just, like, go right into it. You know, also, I am aware that, like, I am really small on the screen. I don't care. Oh, but the chat, the, the, the chat box is fucked. That's right. That is right. Every time I do this, I, I do this dumb little thing where I need to move the chat up, like, a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Voltage VO is streaming right now. This music is very accordion sync, you're so right. Okay, so we're gonna just... Uh, I don't want to erase that one. Uh, so I played like 30, 30 seconds. And uh, and so I, I got a feel for the controls so that I could just be like, woo, I understand now. Hey, hey, my words will slash Voltage's face in half. No, no, they won't. No, they won't. Dingler. That's that's uh that's this file's name. It's Dingler. If you don't like that, tough. All right, so type A controls. You know, just like me as a person, jump and shoot. Makes sense. We can adjust the screen, adjust the sound. I think everything's fine. Let's start. Let's just start right off. Kingler, yeah, regional Kingler. How many of you do you know Klonoa like at all? Klonoa door to Phantom Isle. Actually, I'm going to do this. Sometimes I can't remember my dreams, though I'm sure I saw them. Where did these dreams go? I remember this one dream as clearly as if it were reflected in a mirror. There's our boy. There he is. 
is. There he is. What is what is this ring? So I didn't watch this opening cinematic, so this is new. This is new to me. Look at those gritted teeth. Love that shit. Today, I saw the moon. Who the frig are you? I mean, who am I to remove this joy from this world? Uh, I know the character, I've heard of it. What do you think of the games? I haven't played any. That's why I'm playing them. Like, the most I've done is seen Running Shine's review of Klonoa 2. And I know that this game got a remake on the Wii. Oh. We're just having a bad dream. Doing a hell of an opening cutscene. Oh, it was real. Now, lording. Looks like a backwards R. Oh, there, there's our, there's our Klonoa. Good morning. Whoa, what's that? Hupo? It's from Bell Hill. Sounds like something crashed. It's just like my dream. Let's go, Klonoa. So, let me know if the game audio is too loud or too quiet. Vision 1-1, one, one, beginnings of Gale, Breeze Gale, the Breeze Village. So you can you can punch slash grab stuff, and you can hover and whatnot. And like, watch this, you can do, if you jump trice, trice, twice, you can get an extra height, which is kind of cool. So I've got a little bit of the feeling already. And he says Wahoo, which like, how can you not love that? That's like an adorable character trait. I mean, I, I, I see nothing wrong with this. He's a fun little character. I mean, come on, right? Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to throw it. Audio's good? That's good. I was really worried because, like, I've been doing some balancing to uh, make sure that it's good. So, like, my voice comes through and the game audio isn't, like, really quiet. That was an issue I was having with other just games in general, and I really, really wanted to avoid that because uh, I like being able to watch my own VODs and uh, like actually hear what's being talked about and the game's music. Okay, so I could just break that with my hands. Okay, never mind. So yeah, I've I've only played a wee bit of this first little part of the game. Like I I, I don't think I. Uh, I can't, I, I've only done like about this much, so. I've had fun with it though, like, I think this is definitely a little, a fun little game to play. I love Klonoa's Wahoos, like, how can you not, how can you not just love that? Yeah, I'm sure it's very unimportant for you to voice act it, to sound right, you know? Yeah, I, I agree, I agree, Snake. Listen to his little woes, those are so fun. Oh shit, I missed. So like, I'm trying to get a feel for this. This is like, up to here is basically what I played. Or there's like a little bit afterward, which like... I, 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 I got to about like, basically the part where there's gonna be another cutscene in the level. And that's where I played to. And I'm not, like, super duper concerned with getting 100% at this point in time. I mainly just want to play it, you know? I want to play the game more than be concerned about... ...about doing it right, you know? Can I get that? I can. Okay, cool. So yeah, let's just go inside. I'm already, like, with one health left, but, like, whatever. Oh, who goes there? 
I like this music. Hold it right there. Um. Oof. Hey, kid. You shouldn't come sneaking around here. Oop, sorry. Hmm. Apology accepted. I'm Baloo the Mason. So have you looked at my beautiful Lefis outside? It's my masterpiece. This is something that Seth would be great for this character. Don't know her, huh? She's the legendary diva who sings Song of Rebirth. Nope, I didn't know that. <sighs> Kids these days. This music rocks. This is great. I'm building it so I can reach the Moon Kingdom. Oh, you can tell it's a Namco uh, property? Because Klonoa's got Pac-Man on his hat. Silence! Klonoa, I think we should get going. Oh, okay. Um, we gotta go. I see you all. Take care. I will, thanks. So long. Good luck, Baloo. Thanks. Alright, so everything after this, I have not played. But I like, I like the 2.5D of this game a lot. It really reminds me of Kirby 64, which like, like any game that reminds me of Kirby 64 is like a major win in my book. Okay, so I want to try. Okay, well, nice, nice work, me. Can I do something like this? Okay, like the the jumping mechanics are really fun. Um, I'm just gonna try to get better at them because, you know, you gotta get better at stuff, right? But again, like I've never played this before, so I'm just trying to figure this out. Like my my thought process is essentially, look, if an eight year old can play this game, uh, someone three times their age can definitely play this. And I am all for the easy platformers right now. Like, I'm in that phase of life where it's like, let me play the games that, like, people like that maybe are a little simpler. Like, I don't need to play Kaizo Mario to prove my worth. I'm a gamer because I have fun playing games, not because I'm the god gamer skill strategy. I like having a wide breadth of experiences, you know? That's where I'm at in life. Oh, this is where I came from. So let's go back down then. Let's see what's down this path. Voltage plays getting over it with Bennett Foddy. When? Um... Like, I have a tolerance for those kinds of games, but like... You know, it's... It's only when I'm like... Under very specific circumstances, am I willing to just spend hours with those kinds of games? Vision 1 1, clear. Okay, cool, great. I mean, like, in high school, I played Quop. Like, so much fucking Quop. Oh, this is neat. I've beaten Quop before. So that's cool. Look, I know, like, just. Stop throwing yourselves over me. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's override it. I know nothing about Klonoa. Me too, Sigma, me too. All I know is that it's a game for the PlayStation, and our character's name is Klonoa, and it's a portmanteau of Kuro and Noir. So Kuro Noir, Klonoa. And it's... I don't want to say it's like, uh, it's not like the, uh, Sega, it's not a Sega game, it's, it's Namco. Like, it's explicitly, it, it might look like Knights into Dreams to some degree, and, uh, I can confirm this because I played Knights into Dreams as well in, like, the last week. And, uh, needless to say, oh no. Needless to say, Nights into Dreams is a bit of a strange game in and of itself. Not the biggest fan of it, uh, based on like the half hour I played of it, because I was just continuously getting stuck at the boss fight. 
Like, I'd, I'd play the initial level for, like, five minutes, and then I'd get to the boss, and I did that, like, five times, and every time, nothing came of it, so... I'm willing to just sort of forget about it. Okay. Lanoa, good, fun little jaunt. Sprightly little jaunt, as it were. How are you, Sigma? You doing well? I just got back from the gym, actually. I was at the gym earlier in the day today. Normally, I, I like going to the gym in, like, the afternoon. Like, I like going at, like, 4 on weekends, but Aaron likes going earlier in the day so that there's more of the day left after going, which, like, is a very valid way of doing it. Sorry, my nose itches. The only reason I like going later in the day is so that I can, uh, you know, do that Luke in the chats, uh, Luke in the services at work. F. Can we get an F in chat for Luke at work? Alright, I'm not gonna worry about you, y'all. Okay, cool, that's great. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I like going later in the day only because then, like, I can sort of be, like, head empty for the rest of the day. Because I like to go hard when I exercise and then just be like, uh -huh. is, yeah, is the good brain done okay? And, uh, you know, if you go at noon, that's cool too, but, like, I still have the rest of my day. But I, I actually like how this feels. Like, I feel kind of fun, like, good to go with the rest of my day with whatever it is, so... Like, play Klonoa, for example. Like, I'm, I'm looking for a game that's like... I would imagine this would be a lot harder to 100%. But like, to play through it, you know, as like a casual playthrough. Like, fuck yeah, let's do that. I mean, look at, listen to him. He goes... What a what a sprightly little little character. I'm a big sucker for like well done 2.5D as well. Like this this is quite fun. What if I uh is there a thing up here? No, okay. Oh, there was a thing. Alright, multiple ways to go. Let's just go. What do I do with uh, these? Because, like, there's only jump and shoot, right? So I can't, like, do anything else. Yeah, okay. Yeah, A, 29 months. Is the... What's the 29 months? Is there a sub notification? I haven't gotten any. But yeah, I, I'm, uh, I can appreciate going to the gym earlier in the day, but it, it's good. It's good. Also, I'm wearing the Luna shirt. Fun fact, all the, the Luna girlies, uh, got out of their contracts with Blockberry Creative. Fuck Blockberry Creative. All my homies hate Blockberry Creative. Uh, and so now they're like, uh, they're good. So let's fucking go. It's all good. It, it failed to send the sub notification and it made you look like a fool. Well, that's okay. You 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 are still epic in my book, babe. Out of this friggin' cell, dude. How do I how do I jump into the background there, Klonoa? I bet uh something there. Oh, I gotta probably got a one up. Nice. So if I throw that. If I throw this at the dude? Okay. I like these little characters. I like these little frick, frickin' dudes. Oh, I bet here. Maybe when, when the shield is uh, facing... Oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe I'll figure this out. Who knows? The range is a little short, but... That's okay. Oh, have I discovered a, a secret? Or is this the way to go? This is probably the way to go. 
Let's let's just check the bottom route, because you know, we gotta do it. Okay, let's avoid the bottom route, actually, and just go right back to the top route. Hell yeah. The loop on this is a little funky. Oh, wait. I'm gonna try throwing one of these dudes. Ooh, I nearly died. I'm going to try to throw one of these running boys. These funny runners. Klonoa has a little bit of a slide to them. Oh, there's many of them, and they're all lined up over each other. Okay. There we go. And that's a one-up. Okay, cool. That's good to know. So I think all of those are one-ups then, but... I suppose we'll find out, huh? This game's just, like, comfy. Like, I'm... I'm starting to... Like I said, I want to play more of these, like, 90s... character mascot-like games from that era because like they've always been in my like general presence but they are not games that I ever played and so I'm trying to while not necessarily live someone else's nostalgia uh I would like to see where it stems from Leffies it's the diva we heard about. A diva? <laughs> Gaddius? Your silly song of rebirth. There's no need for rebirth. Oh, this one looks like the bad guy. <laughs> oh. Hmm. This is strange. I can't find it. What? What are they looking for? He said a pendant. Who are they? Hmm. Ah, mice. Very well. The fees is in our hands. Joker, I'm counting on you to take care of the rest. Yes, sire. What are they up to? Uh oh. That's no good. My little micey. Guess we have no choice. Yeah. What's up? I see we have the little puny mice here. Well, I'll have to deal with you. Excuse me, who are you? Oh, my kids these days don't have any manners. Too bad. I'm going to punish you now. Oh shit, that's big. It's showtime! Oh, my dear Rongo Lango. But you're behind. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Look at this, this is cool though. This is for the PlayStation. Like, this is PSX. Like, rotational. 2.5 DS bullshit, like, they used this for friggin' Kirby 64, so, and was like, whoa, Kirby 64 is so cool, and like, I admittedly am one of those people, but like, this is doing it here, and it's a PlayStation game. Though, then again, PlayStation and, uh, N64 were the same generation, so, I guess that makes sense, but like, this is kind of neat. I, I do really like this. I, again, I'm a sucker for good old 2.5D. And it's not necessarily hard to do this kind of style in 2.5D. Because you just, like... I mean, it's just like a loop, basically. Okay, the one thing I don't like is that it doesn't go a lot around, you know? Um, It doesn't, like... If you throw it, it goes tangent to 
the 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 it doesn't follow the ring. It it just goes at like a tangential direction to the circle. So that's a little tricky to manage, but like I can figure it out. Just thought of this as Explorers of Sky post game still happening. The circumstances for it are a little tricky. I'd like to have it happen. I can't speak to it too much at this time. Only because I'd like to have everyone there. But like it's hard to do that just because uh everyone's schedules are different when they're where they were three years ago. And I I'd like to make it happen. We'll keep uh keep it in mind. Nice. Very good. The Explorers of Sky postgame is, like, also tricky because the dungeons are longer, so they're a little... ...trickier. I think the big thing is I just have to not make a lot of promises with, like, games that I'm going to play if I haven't made any plans to do them beyond, like, Oh, this was great, let's do this again. And I think I, I think Ooh. I would like to do it. It's just a matter of like, you know, everyone's in different places in life than when they were three years ago. This is a crest of the moon kingdom. Uh huh. It's the mystical kingdom they speak of in legends. That's right. Hey, Grandpa, is there really a moon kingdom? Perhaps there is, but then again, maybe not. Well, I'm worried about that Gadius character who kidnapped the girl. I love how they just have a Why do I need you to put? The Moon Kingdom, hmm. Be understandable. Yeah, I mean... That's why, like, you know, I stream by myself a lot now, too. It's because, like, scheduling is a little trickier, and, like, admittedly, I like the the games that I play, and, uh, you know, I, I, I'm gonna play them whether I can get others to join me or not, I think, at this point. Just because, like, there's, there are so many other circumstances that go into play now, and, um, logistics wise it's always going to be tricky to find times that work for everyone like you ever try to schedule a D&D session before let me tell you it's exactly the same but worse because you got to find things for people to do and like you know I, I partake in other people's streams of that nature too so like I am on both sides of it I understand that like three hours where you're literally just like sitting and like shooting the shit while people game, like, that can be a little long sometimes. Like, I won't deny that. Um, because I do that a bunch too, and, like, sometimes I'm like, yeah, okay, it's been three hours, are we still gonna go? Oh, we are? Okay. Okay, sure. Like, I, I've been there too, so, like, I, I completely understand, and it's why I really want to be cognizant of people's times. Because, uh, there we go. Fuck. <laughs> the last thing I want to do is, like, just assume that people are going to want to spend all of their time watching me play a video game. You know, like, that's that's not true. And, like, some people definitely have better things to do. Some of them have, like, more things that are going to pay them. And, like, they should do that. I'm not saying that, like, you know, I, I want them to do that instead of be on stream. I'd love to have them on stream. But like, at, at present, it's just more logistically easier for me and everyone else. Or at least for me, I, I suppose. Like, if other people want to be on stream, I, I do make it kind of clear. I will do better about making it clear about what I'm playing and when. And potentially whether or not I'm looking to have people join me. Because, like, to some degree, like, I do kind of want to just do this for myself, you know? And I can just, like, streaming by oneself is important to do sometimes, so that, like, you can maintain, like, Oh no! Oh no! Shit. <laughs> so that you can maintain, like, your identity as to who you are as a streamer, and then, like, have some projects as well. Because, like, I'm gonna be real. I wanna play Klonoa. And I don't think everyone wants to play Kl Klonoa, and, like, there are def definitely cases where, like, you know, I want to play this, but, like, 
if if just like people are on too, then it's hard to uh, talk about something you know very little about for one reason or another. And um, so I just sort of. I don't mean to be weird about it. I just want to, like, play this game, and I know that, like, ultimately, I want to do it, so I'm going to do it. And, like, there's some games that, yeah, I want to play them with other people. Like, I want another person to be there when I play it. So that, I, so that like, I can have another person to, like, shoot the shit with to, like, discuss certain things. But, like, here, it's, like, my initial reactions to this game, and I'm going to, like... Try to be authentic and honest with them, because, like, you never know what you might find here in Klonoa, door to Phantom Isle. Do I like collaborating with people? Hell yeah, I love collaborating with people. Are you kidding? Collaborations are great and really fun. Um, that said, like, there are certain games that, like, you have to make stuff by yourself, too, at some point, you know? Like, if you are only collaborating, you gotta, like do some other things, in my opinion. This is just my opinion. Um, I think that there is merit to uh, having a body of work that is primarily made by you. Do I think it should be the only thing you do? Absolutely not. I think collaboration is essential to growing as, like, a person, as a... as someone who, unfortunately, has to maintain a brand. <laughs> you know, like, my brand is me at this point. If you want to do that, you have to... I need a key. Stop! You gotta do it. Intruder! Who are you? Wait, wait! I'm Klonoa from the Wind Village, on my way to see Granny. Oh, sorry. Strangers. Wandering around recently. Door with a picture of key. Need key. Use this key. Okay, thank you. But one key, one door. Forget not. Right. Then farewell. See ya. So yeah, I when I'm doing things that are collaborations, I really want to highlight my friends. I think that's my biggest thing because like they are taking time out of their schedule to hang out with me and do things with me and it's a thing that like ultimately I am playing a game usually. So I want to respect their time by being like efficient to some degree and like you know sometimes it's just a matter of like hanging out and shooting the shit but like if they've also never played Klonoa they might or might not have things to say about it and like I if they're gonna experience it for the first time like I don't want it to like just be the me show you know unless of course this is like an RPG where like we can find a way to get them oh, fuck. find a way to get them involved you know like that's why Omori was fun, was because, like, there were easy opportunities for everyone to sort of, like, get a feel for, like, what the hell's going on in Omori by having them voice characters. Or, like, in Xenogears! In Xenogears, for example, like, people had characters and they could voice them and it was good. Um, but, like, when it's a, a platformer, like, there's, like, almost no interaction. And, like, with Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors, that game, you can easily see where, like, you could find some kind of involvement, right? Because if, you, if no, you've never played it for the first time, but you're reading it for characters, that makes it, like, interesting and interactive. Oh, that's... Right, that goes up. So, like, having people on is just a matter of making sure that there's things for them to do beyond just, like, sit there and talk. Because, like, if I wanted to hang out with my friends, to some degree, like, it would be a lot more effective and probably more fun for everyone if, like... Actually, I should probably try to get that egg. It would probably be a lot more fun for everyone if it wasn't just, like, aha, Voltage playing video game, and you sit there and listen to him talk. And he is in charge of everything. That, to me, like, I get it. And so I want to make sure that, like, when I'm hanging out with my friends, because, fun fact, they happen to be my friends. 
a lot of the people who join me. A lot of the people who join me on stream tend to be my friends, fun fact. You can believe that. Uh, I don't want to waste my friends' time. Not that, like, I expect them, like, the idea of, like, hanging out with me to be a waste of time, but, like, do you know what I mean by that? Like, I, I, I personally sometimes feel that, like, you know, if I'm just sitting there with nothing else to do, like, I, you know, beyond, like, doodling in my journal or whatever, sometimes, uh, you know, watching someone play a video game for three hours can get a little slow. Like, I've had plenty of people just tell me that they turn on my stream as, like, background noise, and, like, that's great. I love that. Please do that. Like, that is, that is ultimately a completely valid way to watch stream. Like, you don't need to be watching, watching. You can listen, or you can do all of these other things. I value you just, like, your presence. I'm not asking you to be, like, the big, cool, watch everything I do forever. You know, like, I'm not gonna ask you to do that. And I hope that that, what I've said just there, just, like, doesn't, uh, age poorly. <laughs> You are currently mitigating my experience of cleaning my cat's litter box. Exactly! Like, that is exactly what I want this to be. Like, I want my stream to just be something that you can have on in the background and like, yeah, cool, great. You, you are engaging to some degree, but like, you know, if it's just, uh, you know, you got other things you want to do, but like, hey, background, you got this wacky dude talking about shit he does. Like, then go for it. And platformers are honestly a little easier to stream of conscious, so... Um, are you thinking of going beyond here? No can do! The fairy tree has withered, so you can't go any further. You mean, we're stuck? Hey, who are you? I'm a soldier from Junk Pot, the Water Kingdom. I'm on an official mission to see Forlock's granny. Looks like I'm stuck. Say something happened in Jug Pot? That's a state secret. <laughs> Meanie. That's a great way to respond to it's classified. It's not safe out here, so little kitty should go home. I love how, like, confused he does the confused Wahoo. <laughs> Excuse me. I have something to do with Gaudius. Gaudius. Let's go! Alright, well, we beat the level. Cool. That's great. Let's go to the next page. I like that it, it uh, heals you every between every stage, too. That's good. That's good stuff. You know, I was raised a Nintendo kiddo, but, you know, the PlayStation's got some pretty good video games. Beyond the Backyards, what a Backwards Waterfall. Interesting. I see what they want me to do here, kinda. Yeah, PlayStation's got some good stuff. I cannot deny it. Like, again, as a, a, a kid who basically only played Nintendo games growing up, um, part of my quest in life right now is to understand what the heck, why the heck people like the goddamn Sega Saturn, you know? The, the waterfall. Huh? Whoa! It's flowing backwards. See, that's why the water to Forlock has stopped. The forest trees have withered. How? Let's go to the castle. Like, I didn't have a PS2 going, growing up. Like, the PlayStation 2 didn't have one of them. So, like, all of the PlayStation discourse and what have you like, all those games that, you know, kids played in 2006. My... Mine were just, like, 
I didn't even have a GameCube, for what it's worth. I did- my first home console was the Wii. <laughs> the one that I owned, rather, or, you know, my family owned. Okay, let's do this. Let's, uh, let's... Okay, almost. I'll get this. Okay, so... Standing normally is... Too low. Okay. Okay. Sure. We'll get this. So, like, you know, all the games that people... Oh, fuck. I fucked up. <laughs> all those games that little kitties played when they were little kitties, you know, like, I didn't play beyond, like, summer daycares or whatever. Like, Guitar Hero for me was basically uh, at, like, summer daycare. Like, the hit game Sonic 2006. Fun fact, the first version of Sonic the Hedgehog, like, the original game I played was the Game Boy Advance Sonic Genesis. Like, the one released in 2006 for the Game Boy Advance, which is, like, widely agreed to be actually the worst Sonic game of all time because it's just horrendous. Like, that was my first introduction. Like, I first heard Marble Zone with the harmonica. Like... Everyone's like, why did they add a harmonica to this? And I was like, that's my first interaction with Marble Zone. So I was like, I think the harmonica makes sense. It doesn't. Now that I have played, you know, it on the Sega Genesis. But like, you know, the game that I, the stuff I had growing up was the Game Boy Advance. I didn't have a PlayStation. I didn't have a Super Nintendo. I didn't have a Nintendo 64. I mean, the closest thing to that I had was like, my cousin, you know, going to my cousin's place and playing N64, and that's it, you know? So, like, I didn't have... When we got a Wii for the first time, that was huge for me. Oh, fuck. So, like, that's why, for better or for worse, like, Super Mario Galaxy is nostalgic for me, despite the fact that I was, like, you know, older than some people who consider it really nostalgic. My first DS game was New Super Mario Bros. Yeah, like, I didn't get a DS until, like, 2009 or 2000... Yeah, like, summer 2009. My first game for the DS was uh, Explorers of Time. I got it for my 11th birthday, I think. So that would have been 2009, summer 2009, I want to say. So, like... When it comes to games and nostalgia, like, it's not that I'm playing catch-up, it's that there's just different things. I've heard some painfully good arguments that Super Mario Galaxy isn't as good as the game as you remember it being. Like, that's okay. It doesn't need to be. It still served the purpose of being the 3D Mario of my childhood. It's not the open-world Mario game, though. It's a clear-the-level Mario game. And people remembering it as, like, a 3D open-world Mario game are just wrong. But, like, I don't mind that. Like, I don't mind that Super Mario Galaxy isn't an open-world 3D Mario game. Because, guess what? I didn't play Super Mario 64 or Super Mario Sunshine in the way that other people did. You know? Like, admittedly, after playing Galaxy, going in and playing 64 and Sunshine is a different experience. But again, I beat Super Mario 64 DS before I beat Super Mario 64. So, you know, my perspective is going to be forever skewed by the fact that, like, my first console was a Wii. And, like, we didn't have home internet for the, that was, like, eShop connected. Fuck, game over. 
Rip. Looks like I gotta restart the level. Vision over. Like, we didn't get internet that connected to game consoles until, like, 2011. Like, well after a lot of the things. Because, like, I remember being like, Oh, Pokemon Rangers Shadows of Almia is having the Manaphy event. Can we try connecting to the internet? Or, like, going to Colorado and my highlight of going to Colorado was the hotel had Wi-Fi that I could connect my DS to for Pokemon Platinum. Like, <laughs> you know, that, to me, was my gaming childhood, so... Um... It's, it's just different, right? Like, my gamer perspective and, like, the things that I experienced as a gamer, as a kid, are just fundamentally different from, like, a lot of my contemporaries. And, like, I have my own niche. I know that to be true, because, like, you know, I... I exist in a world where I, I know how to use a, a cassette tape still. Um, we used a VCR. I know what it means to... When, you, when they say, be quined, rewind, you know, like, I'm, I've done that before. Can we grab downward? Okay, well, whatever. Like, but I'm not going to try and tell you that your childhood is worse because your game of nostalgia was, like, Super Mario Odyssey or whatever. Like, if a Switch was your first console, then cool, you have a gaming console. I think my mom still has her VHS stuff. That rules. Like, I guess my big thing is, like, I am, I was born in 1998, so I am part of Gen Z, but I am, like, the part of Gen Z who remembers life before the smartphone. And I, I remember, like, in middle school, it was a big deal when I was able to use, when my mom gave me a, a phone, right? And I had, like, the button texting. I had the friggin', like, three-button texting to, like, communicate. So I was, like... And I thought that was the coolest shit, you know? I'm not trying to be like, nowadays, kids, you know, they got their smartphones and their Honkai Star Rail and their Genshin Impact. But, like... We were not allowed to bring our Game Boys to school because they'd get taken away. You know, like, I remember sneaking my Game Boy onto the school bus and playing Red Rescue Team on the bus, right? And, like, Pokemon Emerald um, on the bus. Like, one of my fundamental childhood memories is riding the bus and a kid sneaking his Game Boy on, and he had Pokemon uh, Gold version, and he had and he had Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Like, in first grade, I was riding the bus and playing this game. And, like, I remember that, and that's, like, part of my childhood, is the idea of, like, the portable console you could sneak onto your school bus and play it there. And, like, I guarantee that that is not a memory that people before me have, and people after me will not have that either. Because now, it's like, you can bring your phone anywhere, and you have games on your phone. Like, you know, it's... I'm not the type of person to ask, like, you got games on your phone? Like, I did not ask that because, like, I was just a little too old for Angry Birds. Like, I, I was not... I did not get an iPhone for my birthday, you know? How do I do this, by the way? I can throw it outward. That's kind of cool. I'm not sure how to do this. I could just do it like that. Oh, when I do that, I throw it downward. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Never mind. I wish this, like, throw range and everything, like, the range on that were a little longer, but, like, all things considered, I can tolerate it. Oh, except when I fall. I had a phone that slide to reveal the keyboard. Yeah, exactly. Like, I am a sucker for analog things. The, the older I get, the more I don't like touch screens. Um, I really like having a tactile response to things. Like, that's why Teslas are not that interesting to me, or like, I don't have the passion for it. Like, people are like, oh, you just press a button and it does your turn signal. Well, 
I would much rather um, have that tactile response of a lever than like a touch screen. Because you think about printers, right? Think about all the frustrating parts about operating a printer, like a modern printer. Because it's like, oh yeah, now you have it on a touch screen. Well, like half the time you can't tell what you've pressed. And like, I understand that like, you know, it's probably got better touch screens than a printer, but like <laughs> the same problem ap applies to me. I'm driving and if I don't know what button I've pressed and suddenly I press a button, uh, that's kind of a problem, don't you think? So, anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that um, my childhood and nostalgia is different from everyone else's, and that's what makes my perspective unique and interesting, because there will never be a perspective just like mine. And so that's why sharing my perspective is ultimately valid, because I guarantee you haven't lived my life. I guarantee very few people have the exact same memories of video games that I do. And I think that is makes it worth sharing. Um, but that also means that, like, you know, to try to broaden my worldview, I'm going to play games that other people played when they were kids and have those memories as well to see, like, okay, what was your experience like? To some effect, you know? Because, like, I can't know that 100%, but I can certainly try to get some context, you know? Because, again, I didn't have a PlayStation. I didn't have a PlayStation 2. So this is, like, my attempt to try and see what that's like. And that's why I played Kingdom Hearts, because people were like, oh, Kingdom Hearts is, like, a game from my childhood that I love, and I was like, you know what? Fine, yeah. That and because they gave me money to do so. But, like, <laughs> you know, I mean, I think it's a very real thing to, like, say, hey, I I liked this game. I would like you to try it. Maybe you'll like it, too. Whoa, this is a big one. And if you don't, then, like, well... That's too bad, but hey, that's how it goes. Hmm, I see. Just through the only feature unique to a Tesla. Like, I guess the issue is that I find, uh... There's a lot of issues with Teslas right now that I feel, uh often go unaddressed. I'm no car expert, but I will say, um, I'm kind of a fan of tactile response while driving. I don't think that's a very hot take. I hope it's not a hot take. Interesting how, like, even in the air, I can't fly backwards. The other thing, too, is, like, I'm trying to diversify in the sense, like, I've played a lot of Nintendo, and I know a lot of Nintendo content. And, like, that's cool. Wait a minute. I hear something. Oh, there's a fish. Someone please help push the switch. Help the fish. I feel like this is a trap, but you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway, because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hero. Th thank you, I'm saved. No problem, what happened here? Well, weirdos came here and messed up the castle. If you're going to the castle, I can take you there. But can you save my mommy? I want my mommy back. She's probably under some evil spell. Okay, gotcha. We'll give it a shot. This is comfy. This is good shit. Hop on my back. I'm Carl. Pleased to meet you. Carol? I'm Klanoa. Yep. 
Yeah, like I, I just played a fuck ton of Nintendo stuff growing up, and now I have the opportunity to diversify my opportunities in my games. Why wouldn't I, right? Especially because the PlayStation has just like a wild number of games. I'm Seedoff, the king of this castle. Godius. Time for you to go away. Pamela! Oh, the fish. The fish is mommy. Koopa! Alright, let's see what this boss is. And how do we fight this boss? Ah, well, not like that. Let's figure this thing out. Can I do anything with those? I cannot. Okay, those bubbles hurt me too. Oh, but I can throw you at those blocks. Okay. That is probably the way to... No, that's not the way to hurt the boss. Because if it did, it would have done damage. So maybe I have to grab the dude and throw it at the big fish. That is probably what I have to do. Yep, that is what I have to do. Sorry, Carol. I gotta hurt your mommy. But I can't grab them when they jump and he rides, so I just have to do this. Have I ever played a hat in time? I haven't. And that's partially because, like, I've had the means to, but, like, every time it's just like, you know, I haven't been a big collectathon fan. I'm not the biggest, like, Banjo Kazooie fan. I'm not, like, Super Mario Odyssey was okay, but, like, I'm, I'm, I got a whole rant about Banjo Kazooie that I could, like, go on right now related to media literacy and, dare I say, Nintendo YouTubers of the 2000s and 2010s. But I think it's important to remember Banjo Kazooie is, like, kind of a niche game. Oh, fuck. Banjo Kazooie is not, like, an all time best selling classic. It is a competently designed Nintendo 64 game by Rare. And it's got, you know, it's it's one of those like classic video game mascot platforming games that happens to be very quirky and have a very like distinct style to it, which is like great. Um, but it's not like a best selling game of all time. And it got, I think, a lot of its, like, anticipated or, like, seen popularity comes from very vocal fans of it, like Nintendo YouTubers. You know, like, dare I say, the, like, normal boots crowd, you know? Like, I, I don't think that that's such a huge stretch to say. Oh, fuck. Or, like, even modern Nintendo YouTubers. Because Nintendo YouTubers, I love them. They're fun to watch, and their content reminds me of my childhood. However, there's a reason why I'm trying to branch out and play games from the PlayStation. You know? Like, I'm trying to, uh, do the thing. I'm trying to diversify my gaming experiences. Which means not only playing Nintendo games. And Banjo-Kazooie, I feel, is one of those games that, like, I played a little bit of it, and honestly, it didn't really grab me. And I feel like it's... It's a little overblown in terms of, like, how cool and popular it is, and, like, I get it, when Banjo got into Smash, that was, that was neat and cool, because, like, people, fuck, have been wanting that for forever. Also, I should probably, like... <laughs> 
Do I dare make a save state? No, I don't make a save state. This is not an easy boss, though, I will say. Non-trivial. Ultimately, I, I just feel like that game did not resonate with me because I was not a kid when it came out, you know? Hey, Voltage, make a save state. One second. I'm gonna do the thing where I, uh, file make a save state. I'm gonna save state, and then I'm going to load the state. There we go, I've made a save state. Are you happy? So that way if I game over, I'll just pick up where I left off. I don't want to replay the whole level. Look, there it is, see? Nice. But yeah, so like, I'm just trying to play different games, too, because, like, Banjo-Kazooie is not the greatest game of all time, and I think it would be factually a disservice to literally so many other games on consoles beyond the Nintendo 64. So, like, of course I should give them more of a chance. It's just that, like, I have not had the means to, because up until recently, I've not had, like, any kinds of potential to play PlayStation games, or PlayStation 2 games, or Sega Saturn games. Like, I didn't even know the Sega Saturn was the same generation as, like, the Super Nintendo, or, like, the Dreamcast. Excuse me, the Nintendo 64, exactly. Like, here I am, literally proving my point. I didn't realize that that was, like, in the same generation as the Nintendo 64. That was Sega's competitor. Didn't know that. And like the Sega Saturn was like there and then the Dreamcast was the GameCube competitor or like in that generation or like the PlayStation 2 competitor. Like there were just a lot of things that I just didn't know because I exclusively played Nintendo games. Oops. And I don't think there's anything wrong with preferring one console over another. I don't. For reference, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But I feel like if you're gonna talk authoritatively on video games, you owe it to yourself to at least go outside the realm of, like, publisher or dev team or, like, game console, basically to get a better, war more well-rounded experience. Because if you only play Nintendo games, you are missing out on a lot of classic games. Like, a lot of really good games, honestly. And I think it's unfair to people, like, if you're talking about, like, if you make content and you're only talking about Nintendo games, how are you gonna speak about, like, the greatest platformers of all time if you've never played any platformers from like the PlayStation, from the Dreamcast, from the PlayStation 2, like you're gonna talk about the top 10 video game final bosses of all time, but you haven't played like Shadow of the Colossus, for example, you know? Like to me, that you're just like actively disregarding things. And you know, you should you should try new things. This is just my 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 ethos in life right now is just try new things. I'm actually super excited for the Persona 3 release because I never had the console. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's awesome. I'm super excited about the Persona 3 reload. Like, that's gonna rule. All right. That is going to rule as a game and I'm very excited about it because I have the means of playing Persona 3 now, but I've never like gone through it. And dare I say, maybe now is the opportunity where I will finally do so. I'm aware of Persona 3's story. I'm unfortunately a Persona 3 poser because I'm acutely aware of, like, most plot points, but I've never played it. I've only watched playthroughs. I'm going to admit it. But it's why I don't say Persona 3 is, like, one of my favorite games of all time because I haven't played the game, you know? I know a couple songs from the game and that's it. Persona 3's soundtrack rules. Like, 
I am not going to deny that it is my favorite soundtrack of all the Persona games. Even 5. Like, everyone's like, oh, Jazz in Persona 5. And they're right. But the funk in Persona 3? That shit is awesome. I love that. Oh, shit. But, like, again, if you only play, like... If your only experience with RPGs is Pokemon, Mario and Luigi, and like Nintendo RPGs that are pretty straightforward, you owe it to yourself to at least try playing Final Fantasy VII if you've only played Final Fantasy VI, you know? I wonder what's going on with the headphones guy. Oh, he's, he's just, uh, you know, he's a little sad boy. Weakling, useless. Goodbye, Joka. What am I doing here? I see, so I was under a spell cast by that godious character. I have a feeling he's plotting something against the Moon Kingdom. If that's the case, Forlock's granny is in grave danger. Oh no! Granny. She should know something about the Moon Kingdom, and that's why Jugpot's water was made to flow backwards. To kill off... See, Nintendo wouldn't allow that, but Sony? They use the word kill. Klonoa, we have to go back to Forlock. <clears throat> then I shall return to the water back to normal. With the wizard tree, withered tree should come back to life. Carol, here I am. Hey Chanel, how you doing? Just talking about perspectives and video games and whatnot, which is like something that just Dwells upon my mind. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Let's get going. Oof. I love it. I love it when characters go oof in video games. It's one of my favorite things. I will say, I'm out of this water, so after this cutscene, I'm just gonna dash and get one and be, like, right back with this. But, like, it's good stuff. Thank you, Carol. You're very welcome. Take care. This is just like, like, okay. Again, didn't have a PlayStation as a kid. But I guarantee, if I had this as a kid, this would be super cool. This is why you should just take a chance on some new experiences, because you never know. You might just get this really cool opportunity to play this funky little game with a little rabbit who just jumps around and throws dudes. You have the best boys ever. You should narrate books. <laughs> I, uh, I appreciate it. I have, in fact, done that. Um, I'm going to just, like, real quick. Oh, is this auto-scrolling? Shit, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Okay, so like, yeah, I appreciate it. I I do voice acting and narration. Haven't done it as much lately just because I'm in grad school now and like my priorities, like I don't need to do it to get by, but I do enjoy doing it. I love voice acting and narrating and using my voice to do fun, funky stuff, shit posts, etc. Oh, this place rules too. That's cool as fuck. I appreciate it. It's like, it's something that I've been doing since I was like really young because um, I made like camcorder let's plays, you know, back in 2012 where, you know, you set up a camera in front of a, a TV and a console and then you're like, hey everyone, welcome back to my game. Today I'm going to be playing more Super Mario Galaxy or something of that nature because, you know, that's... That's what a 12-year-old kid did back in 2010, you know? Oh, who are you? Are you okay? I can't believe this. You not bad ones. I'm Klonoa from the Wind Village. Here, you're free. Hey, many thanks. You're welcome. Yippee! Yikes! Me, Guard of Gondola. Now, Gondola work. Wow, thanks a lot. Someday Voltage will let us watch those videos. I mean, I don't know. Mm. 
Ugh, that annoying brat again. That leaves me no choice. Okay, guys, make sure to hide the key to the door well. <laughs> Don't just stand there! Go ahead. Ahead, long trip, watch out. Yes, thanks. Okay, so those videos, for starters, there are a couple reasons why I'm just very hesitant to uh, make those public. One, it I was in middle school when I was first making those. So already, think about all the things you did in middle school, right? Think about every single thing you did in middle school and like how you feel about them now as I can only assume that you are not in middle school, and frankly, I hope you're not in middle school, uh, that would be mildly concerning. Second, I know, I know you're shitposting, but like, I feel like it's good to get this on record. Like, second, think about all the things, like, would you want to watch yourself in middle school? Watching yourself is already like a little just like sus sometimes. Like, I'm not gonna lie, watching myself on stream and listening to my own voice, I've gotten very used to it because of, like, the nature of work sometimes, right? But think about middle school you. There is no way, you would have to pay me a lot of money, and I'm talking, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars to get me to watch my old content, like, with a critical lens. I'm sure it's all fine, but, like, I'm gonna be real with you, uh, that does not sound like a fun way to spend any kind of afternoon, sober or otherwise. And like, I know it's me. Oh fuck. <laughs> I know that that's me. And I know that I have said, like, weird shit as a middle schooler that like, doesn't necessarily need repeating, especially because of like, what was like, practically allowed or by societal standards was considered more okay then than it is now when it really wasn't okay then and it isn't okay now. You know what I mean? Like, nothing horrible, but definitely just like, oh, dude, that's like just casual misogyny at age 12. And it's like, on the one hand, don't know any better, but on the other hand, like, I'd rather just not open that can of worms. Just because, like, what you say at age 12, age 13, versus age 24, it's just fundamentally different people, and I don't want to be held liable, and I'm not willing to go through and comb through my old content to, like, figure out what is or is not cringe, you know? Like, <laughs> I'm not willing to do that. So that's where, that's my, that's my official stance on the matter. But even then, like, the other thing, too, is it's just really, like, not good quality stuff to watch either. Like, it's filmed with a flip camera, and it's in front of a TV, and it's in my basement. So, like, on the one hand, I mean, like, again, a product, product of its time, and it exists on YouTube as unlisted or private videos. So I have them. The external hard drive that I stored them on and everything, like... Though that is not working as much. Um, and at this point, I don't think I'm gonna ever be able to get them. But yeah, like, exactly, Snake. Middle schoolers, worst fucking people on the planet. There's a This American Life episode that came out that's all about middle school that aired while I was in middle school. So, like, it captures my medical, middle school experience to a T. Like, I, if you want what it's like to be a middle schooler, for someone my age, the This American Life um, episode middle school is, like, quintessentially it for me. And it remains a piece of media that, like, I really relate to. Because it's just like, yeah, I was in sixth grade when this episode came out. I know exactly what they're talking about. Okay, come on. I think I can throw something out toward that block. I'm gonna try and do that. I was one year behind you, so like, yeah, exactly, Snake. So like, you know too. Okay, so I could not hit that. Okay, never mind. Yeah. It's sort of just like, things and places and, you know, how how times change, stay the same, etc., etc. I'm just glad that like, 
I, I have it recorded so that in theory, if and when YouTube is ever like, we're not gonna host old videos anymore because like, you know that the, that's gonna happen. Like, they're gonna be like any video below a thousand views that's over 15 years old is going to be removed. Like, that is just gonna happen at some point. Cynical, cynical mode activate. Um, I think that that is going to happen. So I'm gonna, at least I have them like private. So I can in theory download them if I really want. So, it'll be nice to have that as a time capsule, but, like, I don't know. I think about a lot how my generation, the, the kids born in, like, the mid to late 90s, are probably the first generation in human history that could have their entire lives documented with, foot like, video. I think anything before then, um, any generation before then, like, even early 90s, like, they had, like, a good stretch of, like, a couple years where they didn't have to worry about, um, being recorded or whatever. And, like, I active actively, as a 12-year-old, recorded myself. So, technically violating HIPAA or whatever, or, you know, the legislation that went into effect to prevent harm for minors being on the internet, you know? Like, I was on forums at age 10. <laughs> so, hope that doesn't concern anyone. I was posting on forums and whatnot. That was a, a part of my childhood, posting on the UB Funkies forums. But even then, like, I've... Forum posting has been a part of my history, my life. Thinking of Kappa? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, Snake. So, like, all I'll say is that I have a very large digital footprint, and it is, like, unique because I think my generation is one of the first generations to have basically their entire lives. Like, nowadays, you look at people, like, there are kids in the world whose lives have been documented by their parents because their parents made an Instagram page for them as a baby. Like, to me, that's... But, like, that's just, like, a normal-ish thing now. Whereas, like, when I was younger, that was definitely not a thing. The, the, the experience of childhood is fundamentally different for everyone. And for some people, childhood means your parents made an Instagram page for you when you were six weeks from being born, you know, like, <laughs> and that's just like a thing. I mean, it's fine. Look, I'm not going to say that that's fundamentally wrong or bad parenting because I'm not a parent. I don't know. I disagree with the practice, but like, you know, in a way it's a digital scrapbook and that's kind of cool. I think some kids are very lucky that they'll have, like, all of these things. But there's there's a good Norm. <laughs> Norm MacDonald has a, a bit on this where he talks about how, like, back in the day, they, you know, sometimes people only had one photo and it was like a farmer going like, Ugh! you know, like, Ugh! and uh, now it's like, you know, you get to see a kid taking a shit, you know, like, Tommy's first shit, look at it. Oh, I'm so proud of him. Like, I don't need to see other people's shits. That, I mean, that's basically it, you know? Like, I know that that's kind of an extreme example, but, like, the, the, the point I'm trying to make is you don't need to share everything. Like, I, I'm a big fan of, like, digital scrapbooking for oneself, I, but I feel like I don't need to share every single moment of my life on the internet because who cares? Like, who cares what I have to think, right? Like, what have I done that warrants you giving a shit about what I think? Besides just being me. To some degree, I think, like, you know, I, I am a little narcissistic. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you have to be narcissistic to be a streamer. To some effect. Like, thinking that people will just care about your opinions and your thoughts. But, like, 
you know, if you provide meaningful insight to some degree, even if it's just, like, what your personal experience is, that's meaningful. Oh, fuck, I died. <laughs> because no one has experienced life the way you have, and no one will experience life the way you have. So, like, if you talk about your life story to some effect, like, who cares if it's fundamentally maybe a little boring? I mean, like, the grand fact is that, uh, you know, you've lived it. And so that, and I haven't, which makes it fundamentally interesting. Oh, fuck. That, to me, is really interesting. So, there we go. That is what I wanted to do. Okay, cool. So, yeah, like, I'm not saying that, like, I'm gonna read your memoirs, because, like, you know, to some effect, it's like... You know, there's there's the whole idea of, like, are you an interesting person enough to, like, make me care about you? And, like, odds are, I mean, to some effect, maybe? There's, there's possible. It's possible. Like, I think everyone's at least somewhat interesting, but, like, can you articulate your own story, you know? Can you describe in a meaningful way what makes you different or your life perspective interesting, to some effect? And I feel like, you know, like, there's a lot of people who can do that, and there's a lot of people who maybe aren't as good at that, but that's okay, because, like, they still provide, like, different... Oh, fuck, I died again. Rip. I think it's just, like, you know, my, my life is different from yours, yours is different from mine. Share with me something that I've never experienced before, please, I'd love to experience it. I'd love to get your insight and thoughts on things that I have thoughts about as well. Like, I'm not gonna shoot you down unless you're being a bigot. <laughs> and if you're being a bigot, then like, please just fucking fuck off. <laughs> so much for tolerance. Uh, no, I don't have tolerance for people who are being assholes. Does that make me an asshole? Probably not. There's like a limit to how much you can actually- oh fuck. There's a limit to how much you can actually, like, do. Oh, shit. Fuck. Piss. Oh, no. Damn it. Gotta start the level over again. But that's how it goes with these old games, anyway, so what can you do? I don't tolerate intolerance. Which I understand is a paradox, but, like... I'm not gonna pretend like I am just like the most tolerant being on the planet. There are certain things I just don't have patience for. One of them is game overs. <laughs> but yeah. So, big, big word, big, big overarching meaning only to say Klonoa? Kinda fun, kinda cool, kinda neat. Glad I'm playing it because, uh, some people played it as a kid. I didn't. And now I'm 24, and uh, I can't call myself a kid anymore, so I'm playing it as an adult. And that's fun. And the game honestly, like, isn't that hard once you know what to do. And I think that's, that's one of the big other hurdles, too, that, like, I have experienced when playing games, is that there are some games that are just really hard to start playing, because they're not very intuitive. <laughs> But the controls in Klonoa make a little bit of sense, at the very least, which I can appreciate. So, yeah, I mean, I... Talking about the philosophies of, uh, tolerance and childhood and an experience, and I'm just out here playing a game about a little rabbit boy who lives in a dream world. That's what's on the mind. It's a good time. And like, I, again, I love 2.5D, so this is like, 
you know, a game that I probably would like, you know, even as an adult. Which, you know, is true because I'm doing it right now. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, I think I would have appreciated this as a kid, too. Because, like, again, I love Kirby 64 and the way that it, like, aesthetically is. So, this game is quite fun. I don't know what these timers do. I am assuming they do something useful and relevant, but I don't know. And I love Klano as Wahoo. Like, it's just fun. He's just a fun character. Like, that's, I think, one thing about the 90s that we really don't see anymore. Fuck. Well, besides slippery gameplay. Like, they're just, like, video game mascot characters. They just don't make them like they used to. They ain't make them like they used to. There's something that really should be said about, like, a good, fun video game character. Because, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real here. <laughs> video games do not need to be realistic, and I'm kind of tired of realism in video games where it's like, this character doesn't have, like, so many pores. Where, where are the pores on them? Their face is too cartoon-like. And I'm just like, why does this matter? I would much rather have, like, stylized video games that age well than, like... It's, it, it's exactly, like... Do you remember all the uncanny 3D GameCube games and you're like, Shit, dude. This looks kinda not so good. But then Wind Waker for the GameCube, like, looks pretty good because of its unique visual design. Like... Or how, like, we had this weird phase from the 2006 to 2008 where everything was just like, Look at how realistic this graphic looks! Oh, so realistic! And then it it's just like, Mario and Unreal Engine. <laughs> like, give me a break here. Nintendo hire this man, basically. I'm just so glad that in video games and in media, in animation, that stylized graphics and, you know, themes, like, a stylized art, basically. Like, we are, we are quickly moving past the need for, like, realistic animation. Because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real with y'all. Real fucking tired of, like, animated studios being, like, animation studios being, like, but how can we make this look real? It doesn't need to look real. The whole point is it's animated. Again, not an art student, not a not anyone remotely educated in art. But like, you know, I mean it's not hard to appreciate art in like certain capacities. Oh fuck. Now we just have Freddy Fazbear horror. And like that was entirely done because the design was so uncanny that it ended up being, like, its own thing. Like, I don't know how to how to get it into people's minds sometimes that, like, cartoons and, like, things don't all have to look homogenous and they don't have to look, like, like a realistic. That's, that's the other thing, too. I saw this thing that's going viral and it's, like, a bunch of people, like, basically talking about their, like, complaints about Spider-Verse, the sequel. And I was like, you know what, yeah, some of these are valid. And then they said, yeah, I can't, I hated that it was a cartoon. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you, your opinion is no longer valid. And you can take that one to the cleaners. Big blue ball. All right, let's figure out what to do here. Because I can't actually grab these guys, right? Yeah. Okay. This music is kind of fun, too. 
Okay, so I need a key to progress here. Can I grab inward? Is that something I can do too? I should be able to. If I can throw inward, I should be able to grab. Nope, almost. Hang on. There we go. Nice. Alright, so that was a, a cute idea. And then I can use this to jump. Oh, fuck yeah. Plano is Wahoo. Just, oh my god. It's so good. Like, you think about Mario's Let's A Go, and you think about Sonic the Hedgehog's angry finger waggling, or sassy finger waggles, or whatever. Plano is Wahoo also goes hard. It's just nice. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. So chat, are there any things, any games that you have played that were not from your childhood, but like might be someone's childhood nostalgia? I know that's a hard question, but like just contemplate it. What have you tried? What's something new you've done, chat? Play something new. Do something new. What's what's a new thing you've tried? I, I encourage you to like try new things. Don't don't become complacent or stagnant in your life. Always keep trying new things if you can. Look at Klonoa. He's like, hey buddy, try doing something new. I love that Klano can just face out this way. There's something to be said about just like fun video games. <laughs> something to be said about them. That they're fun, of course. Let's not die here. That would be really good. Okay, so now I'm going to get another one of these. I'm going to bounce off this. And I'm just going to be short. Okay, I think I can make that jump, though. I'm going to try again. After I die, of course. Alright. Let's do this. Quite fun. I, again, I wish this throw were just a little bit longer. Or the grab, rather. You know? That's like my one gripe. Oh, no. I'd be curious to see how this compares to the Wii version as well. There we go. Because I think the Wii version was a remake of this game in particular. Nope, gotta throw it inward. Like that. And I'm afraid those are all gonna go away. Damn it. I was horribly right. What do I do here, though? Like, what do I what do I actually do? I don't throw it inward, do I? Wow, 
what do I do here? Because I wasn't able to jump in, unless I have to, like, go back over to where I was. Alright, let's try this one more time and not die. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on. Let's do this. One more time. Here we go, here we go. Not quite. Another time. Here we go. I started playing Pizza Tower today too, by the way. And that game's fun. I'm I'm a big fan of like platformer games that aren't terribly long and easy to understand. Like, look, I really I love novel ideas for video games, but like they don't need to be that complicated. You know? Klonoa makes sense because like you grab, you throw. Alright. It's a good thing I made a safe state. <laughs> I'm not restarting that entire level again. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Like, I'm, I'm willing to do that so that I uh, have a better gameplay experience. I will make note of it though. Like, I will make note of the fact that like, you know, playing this without save states would be a little bit longer and like a little bit more like, oh, uh, I don't like how you have to redo things all the time, but, like, that's just a modern thing. Like, I'm gonna be real, I'm of the opinion that every game should be, like, save-statable now, especially ones that are, like, have game overs in them still. It literally doesn't make sense to, in my opinion, to, like, adhere to the arcade style of, like, game design, where I'm literally not paying anything to play this game. Like, I'm not putting quarters in, I'm not like, holding my spot in line, so to speak, playing this game, like, I can play this game all I want, and if I lose progress, like, to me... Oh, that's what I was supposed to do? Oh, there's a switch behind the guy, okay. Yeah, like, if I'm... If I'm at, like... If literally playing the game is, like playing the game, and if you lose enough lives, then you just, like, lose progress. That's so antiquated, in my opinion, just because, like, you have so many other games you can play at this point in time, in your life. Like, right now, in the year 2023, there are so many fucking games you can play, it makes no sense to, like, still play a game that actively frustrates you, unless you want to do it. Like, that's just, like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Okay, so I'm gonna throw... Like that. Like, I love what Mario Odyssey did and what Celeste does, where if you die, you just go right back into the game. It's great. Really fast. It's a dead end, Klonoa. Uh, yippee! Don't worry. That only forelock greeting. Oh, uh, I see. Ye yippee! We want to go to Granny's place. You're after Granny too? No, not us. Good. Whew. Granny's house is taken over. Kicked out we were. Ugh. Save Granny. Hold on. Hold on? Yippee! Wow! Good luck. Okay, vision 3-1. Clear. Nice. Good job. All 
All right. Sure. We're just making quick headway. Seems pretty fun so far. Liking it. Again, I have not, I am not one of presenting this. At least not now. But I am enjoying this, I will say that. Where are we? We are in the tree of the machine. And who are you? Oh, you're probably gonna explode. Yeah. Okay. You're an exploding rat. Okay, that's good. Let's, uh, let's do this. Okay, so if I... Oh, I see what I'm gonna have to do here. I'm gonna throw it inward and hit that switch. Do you see it? There it is, yeah. That's cool. I like that. Man, this game just, like... Yeah, it's a 2D platformer, but, like, gosh dang, is this just, like, charming. Okay, this feels like the next way to go, so I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna try the other way, because I think there was more over this way, and I don't want to miss it. Oh. Oh, okay. You jump on it, and then you go to new places. Bomb? Ah, okay, so that's where the key is. Okay, or that's where the door is, rather. Okay. This is really cool. Planoa, pretty fun. Like, honestly, I know I've been saying it. I know I've just been repeating it. But, like, I don't really have many other thoughts other than I am having fun. And also I'm being reminded that, like, I am uh, living the adage of, like, I'm only letting myself have fun playing video games and I'm streaming them. And I probably wouldn't play Klonoa otherwise because uh, I'm a fake gamer who only games when people are watching him game. Oops. What a... What a problem. What a problem to have, right? Oh, jeez, I only play video games whenever I can sit down and play for three and a half hours at a time, and people watch me. Hey, Akashi9210, thank you so much for the follow. How are you, Aka Akashi? Akashi? I apologize if I've butchered your name, but thank you so much for the follow, 9210. How are you? Hope you're doing well. I appreciate ya. We're just playing some Klonoa. I ain't never played it before. I'm gonna stretch because we got a stretch redeem. Do it over the shoulder like that. Ugh, so good. Thank you, Aaron, for the stretch. Mm. Alright. Klonoa, fun game. I suppose, like, when you're you're sort of, like, head empty, this game fun. Uh, that's, like, a pretty good sign, all things considered. <laughs> so does this, like, turn? I, I, I guarantee it's gonna turn at some point. When? Dunno. But, I'm thinking, eventually. And that's the other thing, too, is that, again, when you play video games for the first time, like, you don't have to be good at them. But I like, I like it when video games are easy enough where, like, they're approachable. They're easy to play, hard to master. I love those kinds of video games because those are the games that, like, are replayable only if you want to. You don't have to replay games if you don't want to. I admire that, you know? Okay, so I've, I've gone around in a circle. Everyone's gonna be yelling at me. Let's 
go this way. Now that we have the key, we can go this way. I kind of like the two-act structure of the zones in Klonoa as well. The visions. It makes sense, and you get... Like, the, the aesthetic doesn't overstay its welcome, which is always nice. There's some complaints I have about certain video games, like... If they're gonna do, like, the bog standard, like, grass level, fire level, water level, ice level, sand level, and so on and so forth, often they, uh, just sort of repeat the same tropes all the goddamn time, and, uh... At least if the levels are short, then, like, they're interesting, and you can do some things with them, like... This level being a tree level, but also pseudo-mechanical, I think is a neat little spin on it. Hmm. I bet I can get this thing. Let's try and get this. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on! No! Fucked up! I've gone messed up, haven't I? Okay. Obviously the controls are a little flunky, camera's a little flunky, but like, again, I'm willing to let that slide right now because it's a PSX game. Like, I think this game is older than me, actually. Actually, let me look that up. I'm going to look that up right now. I want to see how old this game is. Klonoa Door to Phantom Isle. Yeah, it's from 1997. So the game's literally older than me. <laughs> uh, hope that's not too weird for some people. Because uh, I know it's it's really weird for me, too, to like see the uh, the the people in the world now who are like... What do you mean by hiding your DS under your pillow? Like, uh-oh. Or like, I saw something that went viral. It's like, what did you do in bed before the phone? And it's like, well, you read, you uh, watch TV. I feel like TVs in bedrooms are were a way bigger deal back in the day because like, I have to assume that like, people put on like a TV show to fall asleep. And then, like, you know, you'd wake up at 2 a.m. to George Lopez and Lowrider. And, like, that is where that comes from. Because, like, why, why else would you be, like, listening to that, you know? Like, how else would that happen unless you had the TV on and fell asleep? And that's why, like, automatic timers were a thing, too. God damn it. <laughs> oh, well. Nowadays, we don't need to do that because everyone has their own TV screen that they can watch their own thing. Like, Aaron and I, we don't have a TV in our bedroom because, like, why would we watch TV in the bed when we can watch TV outside of our bed? And I think that's also, like, important to think about, like, for me, the bed is, like, almost entirely a place to sleep. I don't really do things in the bed beyond sleep, you know, besides... Like, some, some minor things, right? Like, obviously you do some stuff in bed, but, like, I'm not gonna be like, Oh, yeah, I surf the web in bed. Like, I I do not bring a laptop into the bed, like, ever. I don't think I've ever done that, actually. I rarely do that. And that's only because, like, I uh, want the bed to be a place for sleeping. You know? Like... Nice. Ooh, there's an egg there, too. An egg! I missed. Oh, I missed. Okay, it's okay. So, yeah. Like... That's what I have to assume was, like, what happened in... Back in the day. Like, for adults in the 90s, you know, in 2000s, if you had a... TV in the bedroom or something, you know? Like, that was what you did before bed or whatever. Wait, can I bring a dude in through a door? 
I don't think so. I'm gonna try and then... Oh, you can. You can. Oh no, what's going on here? Did I just fuck up words? I did. Oh, here already, you're much too late. Oh. So long! That's where you're wrong, Buster. Joka, you're a... Your name is literally so true. Nice. Okay, now I want to get one of these guys and I want to throw it outward. Not that way. That is not outward. Okay, hold up. Oh, okay. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Good. Okay, now. Very good. I like that Klonoa has challenges that, like, you can do, but you don't have to do. Like, to me, that is, like, fun game design. Where you don't have to do the things. But if you do them, hey, that's pretty cool. Like, I, I, I almost, like, say Sonic Team was kind of, like, bad because they added grades to levels. Like, I don't know. I'm not trying to play a video game to be graded, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just trying to have fun with it, and if I'm bad at it, like, okay. I understand that, like, it might be the case, oh... We're, this is the, the thing we do, okay. We gotta throw it, and then it's going to explode, and then we only have a certain amount of time. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Like, gating progression based on how well you complete a level feels weird to me. I would rather just gate progression by clearing a level. But, uh, what do I know? I don't make games. I just play them. Like, I do try to be, like, intentional with, like, my thinking when it comes to games, you know? Oh, this is where they're going to tell me that I can chain this. How do I do this well? Alright, this is definitely like the part where they're like, Okay, learn this mechanic now. Yeah, that's how I do it. Okay. Okay, I did it. Oh no, you're here! Oh, I'm just getting out of here! Ouch! Fuck! Shit! That's what he said. I'm gonna- I'm gonna do this a little bit to get good at it. Why didn't they put Klonoa in Smash? He's got a grab, and a jump, and a hover, and everything. He's even got forward smashes, probably. He's literally a grab and throw character. He's not that popular of an IP, everyone. Which is a shame, because again, his game, quite fun. Okay, three switches. I mean, there's six ways to do this, so... It was literally the last one I did. <laughs> Come on. Literally try number six of combination six.
I think you were just supposed to guess and check there, so... Hey, that's fine with me. Oh, gosh. I cannot get enough of this dude. Cannot get enough of this dude. Like, you know, you know how sometimes it's like, ah, oh, I can't stand this dude. It's quite the opposite here. I like Klano a lot. He's cool. Or at least this iteration. I don't know how he changes from like one game to another. But uh here, Klanoa, well, despite that, Klanoa, he's oh my god, I'm all the way back here. I s never mind, Klinoa, stinky, not fun, just kidding. Yeah, I mean, like, I just like him as a character. He's fun. He says wahoo in a cool way. Like, that's great. Can't get enough of this guy. Not the direction I wanted to go. Whatever, I'll just go through this door and it'll be fine. This is the way to go, so. It's whatever, man. It's whatever, man. Oh, gosh. Okay. Here we go. made it. Outward, outward. There we go. I Again, I don't know what that does, but I'm sure it's helpful in some capacity, so... It's good. The music is also just fun. Like, you know... It's good stuff. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. I've only missed like one dude, apparently. Or whatever whatever the, the collectible is. I've only missed one, apparently. Definitely like their way of, hey, a boss is coming up. Do you want any uh extra lives? Oh, why yes game. Why yes game, I would like an extra life or five. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, you you don't have enough potential energy built up to go uphill like that ball. I'm sorry. That's not how it works, game. Physics. No, I didn't want to go- well, maybe I did want to go up. I guess I did want to go up, huh? Come on, confess already! I'm gonna have to hurt you if you don't mess up! Oh, Joka. You're really gonna get it now. Stop, Joka. What do you mean, stop? You nasty little pest. And then I'll take care of you all. Hurt them, Gelgbom. Gelgbom? Okay, boss time. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna have to do here is grab one of these, jump, and throw it downward. Like that. With better aim and timing. I have heard this. It's in the fucking jungle mixes. I listen to this shit while I work. Ah, 
That's where I recognize this music from. Nope. Damn. That Gelg Bulm got me good. Damn, that Gelg Bulm got the, the big shell armor. Damn, listen to this fucking jungle. Kinda goes hard. This is actually... I love this boss music. I was wondering where I'd heard it, and then I realized, like, oh. This is definitely, like, a thing that I've just, like, heard. It's just on those, like, the big D&B mixes from, like... You see, uh... Nope. Okay, I'm figuring this out. It's just a new way to attack him. So I think the situation is just like... I gotta get him close to the spring. And then still do the same thing as before. Alright. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I'm learning. Nice. They definitely, like, looped it weird, though. This game, like, it's got some strange loops. Like, it doesn't flow perfectly, as you just heard. Kind of strange, but... I, I have to assume that, like, that's because they're using, like, MP3 files or something, and they don't loop it the way it's, like... It's not a MIDI. It's obviously not a MIDI. This has to be just, like, a track that was composed but not designed to be looped or something. That almost, that doesn't feel like the right way to do that. Feels a little inefficient, but. Eh, what do I know? Damn it. This is definitely like what you're supposed to do now. Nice. One hit left should do it. Shit, that's a big one! Alright, I should be able to do this. There we go. 3-2 clear. Granny, are you alright? <laughs> what a day! Well saved am I. Many thanks. Oh no, don't mention it. By the way, Granny, Grandpa asked about the moon pendant. Yes, I know, see no more. Dark spirit returns. Moon pendant, diva lefisen, the dream that creates this world. It's all according to legend. Legend? Legend says, moon pendant, key to moon kingdom. Place offering on the temples of the sun's pedestals. Then the path opens. Temple of the Sun? I've heard of it! There's a floating temple in the sky! Temple in the sky? How do we get there? Where is Moon Pendant? Grandpa has it at it home. Evildoers looking for it hide it very well. I see. I see. <laughs> oh, that story was very, very interesting. You! Joker! You've been f you've been spying on us? That's not fair. That's not fair. Then why this is all part of my plan? So the dependent is right at home, right? Then I'll be on my merry way. Thank you, Granny, for the valuable information. So long, Pharaoh. But wait. 
Wind ruin, shortcut to home, this way. Gotcha, thanks. The shortcut path full of danger, watch out. Okay. Full of danger. Alright, Wind Ruins is next? A village in danger, Ruin of the Wind Kingdom. Let's see what they have in store for us, huh? Okay, so... Let me, let me try killing this thing first. Yep, that is what I thought we had to do. <laughs> when in doubt, throw downward. Oh, look at me, just like bypassing all those foes. So good, I am just a god gamer. Now what's inside the door? Treasures beyond your wildest dreams. Can I throw upward? Nope. Only in, but not up. And then I can do that. Okay. Well, I mean, I didn't get it perfect, but like, you know what? I don't care. I'm not, I don't have anything to prove, except my willingness to play Klonoa. And I enjoy that they, like, respawn enemies in the sense that you need them to progress. Especially, like, you can tell, too, if you need them based on whether or not they respawn. Okay, this is where they're gonna be like, do you know how to chain? If you don't, fucking figure it out, scrub. Okay, here we go. I had this, this problem with Pizza Tower earlier today, too. Okay, good. Good job, me. Figuring out how to chain jumps with Mort the Chicken was kinda not my strong suit. And again, the 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 jump grab things a little short for my tastes. Just my simple opinion. That's a big dude that, like, I can't touch right now, so... I'm just gonna do this big movement like that. That was pretty cool. Aha! So it's that, it's bada bing, nope, bada bing, come on. Whatever, I don't need that other thing. And I already did it, so I don't care. Alright, so I guess I was supposed to go that other way. Let's see what this is. Sure. Great. Oh, fuck. Dude's just in, like, a hat. Jesus, okay. Friggin' fire away, why don't you? Alright, well, that was something. Let's try again. Once more with feeling, right? So I don't think I can actually damage these guys, at least not, like, in my current capacity. 
I can kill them when they show their face like that, though. Okay. That makes enough sense. I mean, like, that's... That's not that hard to grapple with. Like, that makes a lot of sense. Like, they're showing their face, basically. They're showing their weak point. Okay. I will make sure I get this done properly. And I'll get that thing, too. I'll rescue the guy, you know? And then I have to deal with that schmuck, but... Should be able to make that cool. Great. Awesome. And these are ghosts. They're ghosts! Do the ghosts respawn? I want that egg. I want the egg, dude. Good. Extra life. That's that's important. I, I will take an extra life. Even if I'm like down to one hit, because like that means that my my efforts will not be in vain. You know what I mean? Like I'd rather have an extra life and like risk getting hit so that I can get another extra life because if it's like just like points, then like I feel like, okay, this wasn't really a fair exchange. Oh no, not more ghosts. Oh, that's that's tricky, that's cheeky. Okay, that's less cheeky. Okay. Not as cool. Not as fun there. Oh shit. I'd clicked away from the game. And as a result, I just got hardcore bodied. But it's okay, I'm I'm making progress. You saw, I mean you were you were there. What are you gonna think like I'm lying to you? Oh, I should use the, the dude to jump up. Oh, it's gonna loop around, isn't it? Okay. Okay, it'll loop around, so I'm just gonna rely on that, I think, primarily. Okay. Now, friend, friend, I need you to fuck off. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah. Ah, uh, I love 2.5D, but I wish I could, like, you know, move around a little bit in 3D. Oh, well. I'm sure that everything will be just fine once I, uh, make some headway, you know? Let's do the thing. I gotta figure out how to do my chains again. Here we go. Here we go. Fuck. Really? Okay. Let's, uh, let's make this count. Okay. I leapt before I thought, and look where that got me. <laughs> nope, I need a dude. Always take a dude with you when you're gonna jump. 
You never know when that dude might just, like, save your life. Always take a dude with you. You never know when jumping with a dude will save your life. I'm, I really want to get this chain. I don't care that much about the chain anymore. Excuse me. Okay, good. I, I did need that one up, though. I think I, one of the gripes I have playing right now is just that, like, there's minimal iframes and the range on my grab is really short. Beyond that, very fun. And it's, it's, it's a little hard to do the chain jump grab thing with, like, my current setup. Maybe if I were to change the controls, it would be different. But, like, it's hard to know exactly for certain. At least they're cognizant of the fact that, like... Definitely uh, a point where a lot of players would die, probably. Ah, the classic case of looking before I leap. Hang on, I'm gonna try something here real quick. I, I promise I won't like be excessively liberal with my save states, but I do wanna, well, I want to try this thing here. Well, that's... Well, that might... I might still be able to do this. Let me try it. Oh! Yep, yeah, okay. Ghost, ghost, ghost. And then up. Okay. Let's keep on moving. Back the way we came. It's fine. No, I'm fine, I'm fine. Really, I'm fine. And then we get just back. Yeah, I mean, like, just a matter of, uh, not freaking up platforming. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna stop trying to do the cool thing, and I'm just gonna, like, do the thing that I said I was going to do, you know? Get the dude. Get the dude. I don't care. <laughs> Are you fucking real? Okay, hold on. Klonoa, why are you so slippery? I gotta get this dude. I I just gotta get it. Okay. I, whatever. Fuck it. We're out. That that was the end. <laughs> oh my god.
All right. Cool. Why don't we do that there? Why don't we do that there? The Leviathan's Ice Cream. So I'm going to keep playing Clono on stream, but I am going to wrap it up here just because, like, I've been going for probably as much as I wanted to today. Um, so I'm going to, I'm, like I said, I'm going to wrap it up there. Let's see if there's anyone I can send you all to to be raided. I don't know. Maybe. Potentially. I don't know who's streaming at 6 o'clock on a Saturday. Besides me. No one else. That's okay. So, yeah, that's that's uh, that's going to be it then. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I appreciate you all. We'll be back on Monday with Bug Fables. Hopefully making more and more progress. I think we're going to be doing Bug Fables at least. At least that's what I think, assuming the schedule works out. If not, we'll be doing something else, but it'd be like that. Anyway, uh, thanks again, and I'll see you later.